All right, here we are. It is Saturday, April 27th, 2024. We're here in Oceanside Harbor. And it's a beautiful afternoon. And there is the pier. Fire's completely out. It's all over and done with. Here's the five. They are clearing out the, uh, the harbor. Got a couple ships over there. So they're dredging up all that sand, pumping it through these pipes all the way down the beach and dumping it there. Because the beach is eroding. So, yep, there's the pier. This is all done burning, but they're going to rebuild our Oceanside's main attraction and the largest wooden pier on the west coast. So, they'll rebuild it for sure. Uh, I think they already said that. So, it's not the first time it's caught on fire. Um, this is actually the third pier here in Oceanside. And the little shot halfway caught fire in I think 78 um, and then we built it so cool stuff there we go we have a surf competition just in So what they did was uh, they actually had just installed a thing on the pier that uh, I think allows, if there were to be a fire, they would be able to lay the fire hose on these, I think they were like metal brackets, um, and we're going to get the fire hose all the way out to the end, and I think they just installed that, um, I think this year or last year, and uh, the fire marshal said that it was a huge factor in uh, getting all the water they needed out there. Um, and there were a bunch of, there was a crew from Camp Pendleton, the Coast Guard, the Sheriff, uh, was airlifting with a helicopter, water, um, there were a bunch of other resources as well. So, um, I believe it's closed right now, which is why there's nobody on it, on the pier. Um, yeah, and they ended up, so they cut a hole through the pier right at the very end, it's five feet. Uh, the pier that they cut off so that if the fire got out of control they could uh well you know more than it already did they could stop the fire from burning down the whole thing so i mean that stuff made of wood it's kind of risky business there we go